do the treadmill, but we're just going to show you because she's, um, so you get them to walk up to the treadmill and you want them just to, at first, just get used that they're going to be standing because the bed's a little bit different. It's a, you know, most treadmill beds are a little bit softer. So you just want her to stand on it and she can sit, she can lay down, give her the treat and just let her know that the treadmill is, you know, a place they get rewarded. It's a fun place. And if you get frustrated while you're doing any of this, then just give up doing it because you want to always stay positive. And if you're frustrated, the dog will feel it. And it's not going to be fun for anybody. So then as you can see, Audie, she's used to, so she'll just start moving. And so you just go ahead. Um, in this case, Audie's used to it. What we do when we get them trained is we hold on to their, it usually takes two people, and you want to put your hand, go ahead and, and illustrate how you would do it. You put their hand kind of, and it depends if your dog's used to being, my dogs are used to having me hold them by the scruff, they're used to my hands everywhere, and you just kind of try to guide them by having your hand on their front and on their rear. I actually will, you know, hold on to their scruff of their neck and actually the skin behind, um, you know, on top of their croup, um, and just get them to stay stationary. Um, and just say, good job, and keep it very positive while you're doing it. And, um, in fact, with, um, when Skyrocket was young, and we'll get Skyrocket out here, too, to show you, and maybe we'll, you know what, maybe Guard, because Guard's not the best. He just recently learned how to do the treadmill, and we'll walk through how we, sh we taught Guard to do it, because he's not going to be as, you know, Audie's been doing it for a little while. But basically what you want to do is you have two people and let the dog know that they need to keep moving forward. And that's why you hang on to their, their, um, you know, their, their scruff or their collar. And you never leave the dog unattended. Never, ever. Because, um, you know, they can get tripped up or the leash can get caught on something. And what we do is we just drape the leash over the side of the treadmill. And um, you can see Audie, even though her tongue's hanging out, she absolutely loves the treadmill. Um, they will stay on that as long as you keep them on it. Typically, you know, we do our dogs, what is it, 15 minutes, Cheryl? You, 10 to 15. 10 yeah. to 15 minutes. And um, I think it's usually around 3 miles per hour yep. is about the yep. speed that we top out. You can get them to go faster, but, you know, it's not to really try to get them, I mean, you can get them, to, I guess, to run on it. Go ahead and turn it up to 3, and we'll just show them how fast she actually goes. And see, Audie's real good at pacing herself. Um, I found that when you're getting the dogs used to the treadmill, um, you know, if you go really slow, they're not sure. That if you get them used to it, try to get them, get it to go when you first put them on it at what their natural walking speed is. Right. Because, um, like with Audie, we started a little bit slower, but she's so good at it. She'll go slow. She'll go fast. She'll go whatever the speed the treadmill is. But when you're teaching the dog, and we'll bring Guard out here next, I think, because he's not going to be as good of a, um, what do you call it, a, He's not going to be as good as Audie is on the treadmill right, for instructional right, purposes. Right. So anyhow, um, we'll close for now and then start back up again with her. Okay, so here's Kyra. She's definitely um, loves, you know, activity and stuff. And in the beginning, she's only been on the treadmill, how many times do you think? About six times, seven yeah. times total? Yeah. And so we just, you know, it's interesting here at Solis, we don't always use a lot of treats because our dogs really are treat turn motivated. Turn around, turn Kyra. Turn <laughs> go backwards. Kyra, stand. There you go. And so, we, we, like I explained, Cheryl, we, we held, you know, you just kind of got to position them. There we go. And so Kyra has a tendency. Keep going. Is, you can see she puts her feet up too fast. I mean, she was, she's kind of like, she doesn't quite have the cadence down. And so Cheryl kind of holds her back and then also speeds it up a little bit for her so that she's not, there you go. Slow down, Kyra. What she does, she's looking at me. <laughs> so she takes those short choppy steps, whereas um, the girls have been doing it a little bit longer. And you'll see if you do your dog that some of them, you know, will take the short choppy steps if you a few times, but Kyra seems to keep it. Um, Good girl. And eventually, I think she gets it, doesn't she? After um, yeah. There you go. So you're actually trying to. <laughs> there you go. I think she just doesn't want to go shooting off the edge. Good girl. Good, good job, Kyra. But yeah, if your dog is treat motivated, just to get them comfortable with a treadmill, to make it a positive thing, it's kind of hard to give it to them while they're moving and you don't really want them choking on it. But to get them comfortable with a treadmill, just to get them to stand on it, just reward that. Good girl. 
but you know, um, it's hard to show you with treats with these guys because they were kind of going crazy when we were trying to get them treats to get them treadmill just to show you, but they've been doing it, so. So Kyra's, whoops, what happens when you sit? <laughs> turn it up a little bit more for her because it's at 2.7. She's, you know, there you go. She's, she's really athletic, Kyrie is, but she just, the, the treadmill. There you go. Good girl. An audience skyrocket, like we said, have been using the treadmill for about a year. Skyrocket started when she was just a little pubster, and I think, I think Audie started when she was, what, about eight months old, seven months old. She's still a big girl. Job, okay, and then I'll come back. We're going to show you because uh, Cheryl actually um, does get them going a little bit just for uh, into a trot. But these guys are a little bit more seasoned. You can see she can feel her legs kind of coming off the end, so she's speeding it up. But like I said, she's really seasoned and she's got her cadence going, and she can feel when she's getting a little bit further back. So she's actually getting, but see how it's rather harder for her, and she's really concentrating. So, um, you know, the faster they go past the walk speed, she's kind of, you know, doing a little trot, the more difficult it is for them. But once they get that, you know, but she doesn't, Cheryl doesn't make her go the whole time. She just does kind of like a little bit of fartlek training, right, in college yeah. or high school. So, so this is Skyrocket. She's a little wild right now. And so... She's done the treadmill before. Easy. Hey, knock it off. So you can see she's full of energy. She's much higher drive. And so how we got Skyrocket to get used to the treadmill was um, Cheryl actually straddled Skyrocket standing over her because she was a puppy and just kind of held her. Um, but Skyrocket's very submissive. <laughs> even though she's a little crazy. And, you know, was easily straddled. Um, guard was not able. We'll, we'll do guard next, and you'll see how he goes. And so Skyrocket's all set to do the treadmill. Good. Good. Good treadmill. Good girl. Keep going. Keep going. Good girl. And you always got to make it a happy, just a very happy. And like I said, it helps to have <clears throat> a one person on either side of the treadmill just to kind of center the dog. And as you can see, we've got four treadmills here. One's, I think I gotta get the, gotta move all the stuff off of it, but we're gonna get all four dogs eventually this spring. I'm used to the treadmill. And so you just say, good treadmill, you know, good walk, you know, whatever, just positive reinforcement, positive, positive. And when they're done, they're always in such a great mood because um, in the winter times, it's really rainy and cold here in Seattle. And um, the dogs don't get as much chance to go out in the yard and romp because it's just a big mud ball. And so we get them, you know, 15 minutes a day on the treadmill. It keeps these guys pretty well balanced. 30 minutes would probably even be better, but, you know, it's just hard to get the, all the dogs on the treadmill. When we get all four of them going, um, we'll probably be able to let them go longer. So this is 2.8 miles per hour, and Cheryl's bringing it up to 3 point miles per hour. And that's about what I walk when I used to do the treadmill, um, I'd walk at three miles per hour. So it's a comfortable speed. It's a conversational speed, but you can still see, you know, their mouths are kind of, look at, she's like, she's a little bit kind of trotting, a little bit between a walk and a trot. So you can just do it, you know, depending on what the dog's, you know, leg extension is and what's comfortable for them. Does she normally work like this? kind of move like this okay so she's just doing it for the camera normally she just walks because yeah. I'm here you think she usually just stays focused for yeah she's probably just a little bit because uh, normally you. Cheryl Cheryl yeah she hears me she normally just does it with Cheryl but it really does help just the 15 minutes a day Good keep girl. them you know fit and give them that little extra energy, energy yeah I know Sassy does it for a half an hour I think 45 minutes, half an hour, I don't remember. Really? Oh, yeah, Sassy will just love. And then these guys probably would, too, you know, if we had the time. Yeah, because mom's here. <laughs> 